the VimWiki Vim plugin. So VimWiki is pretty awesome because you can create a wiki type area of having a bunch of linked documents with notes and linked to each other and it's all based off of a relative referencing of documents based on a consistent naming. Now if you keep all of your names lowercase and you just consistently keep using the same thing, you can um, click on, or click, you can hit enter while your cursor is in normal mode on a word and it will create a link out of it. You hit enter again, it'll take you to that link, which is the document with that name. You can hit backspace to go backwards through your history. Now previously what I have done is um, I used to have my Vim wiki right here, and I used to have, um, I need to change these two, but I used to have index as a capital letter I index. So it was always at the top if I was gonna manually go here. That was because I didn't understand um, something about the, the way that the plugin works with your VimRC and how to just immediately open up your Vim wiki on the index page without even having to navigate to the directory or have to find the index file. So now I don't even have to do any of that at all. To interact with my Vim wiki, I don't do anything in here, really. What I do is I can just go and do mod V and it will open up my Vim wiki on the index page. You can see my face is covering it a little bit here, but index. Now by doing that, mod V, how did I get there? So it turns out that uh, as long as you have the file path referenced correctly in, the, um, in your VimRC, that you can have, um, this is what it looks like in the VimRC. Uh, I can list my path, which is VimWiki, and I have the V and the W capitalized uh, in my home directory, so you have to make sure that this casing, this file path works. And then as long as your index file is lowercase, it will then find that index file and open it up with your mod V uh, key, I believe. I don't think there's anything else I changed for that, but doing that, let me actually open up my VimWiki with mod V, and now I can go enter, and I can go to different er different files and area uh, areas, and I can find different things that I need. Backspace to go through my different entries, and look at different stuff. Yeah. So that was something new I discovered about VimWiki is that I don't need to have my index file capitalized to have it at the top of the directory because I don't even need to go into that directory anymore. I can just have all my stuff here and I can do mod V to open up VimWiki now based on the configuration in the VimRC. And I'm sure there's more documentation about that with the actual uh, GitHub repo where that plugin is uh, kept. Um, which is just VimWiki. So VimWiki, VimWiki. Let's just see here if we can find any additional documentation. Oh yeah, looks like plenty of documentation. So you can find different things here for how to organize your wiki document, um, but using the mod V or leader, uh, actually I don't think, I don't know, that's in normal mode inside the actual document. So yeah, one other cool thing I found was the uh, tabs. So if I was going to um, be in a document, I can do tab and it will take me to each link and cycle through them. So that way to go through my different links in the document, I can just go here, here, I can go to there and I can open up each individual thing, you know, whatever. And go back all the way to the source and I can do shift tab to go backwards. So tabbing, enter, backspace, all of those work. Um, there are some conversions to take this to HTML. I think I talked about some of that in my previous videos. Um, but yeah, I could not find the key binding if I have one for mod V to open up VimWiki, like in my i3 config, but that is what opens up VimWiki for me is just mod V. But yeah, so you don't need to have uh, your index file capitalized like I did to find it in the directory because once you have it key bound to run VimWiki, uh, boom, it just opens. Um, actually, I think it might actually it might also be in uh, VimRC maybe. But anyways, VimWiki is awesome. I still use it for uh, keeping all my notes for different areas and subject matter. The tabbing and uh, shift tab to go backwards and forwards, enter to go into stuff and backspace to go out makes this great to um, 
makes this great to manage for different things. I don't know what I did. I think I just need to kill it. Um, it makes it great to maneuver through stuff in here. Backspace, yeah. Vimwiki is still a great and powerful thing, and you can still export it to HTML. I haven't done that before, but I digress. I think it's really, really interesting and useful. So, Vimwiki, new knowledge.